Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at something rather silly. This is called the Railgun Truck, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small block truck that has a large block railgun strapped to the top of it. We've got some unique controls which I didn't think was going to be on this, such as a piston system to lock yourself in place. And then we can take over the turret, move it around with a hinge, move it around with a rotor, and blast our enemies with it. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the railgun truck, which is all the way down to here, here it is, is 986 small blocks, using the Wasteland and Decadal Block DLC packs. We've got absolutely no information about it whatsoever on the Steam Workshop page, so we'll simply give this a thumbs up, move all the way around to the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll get into it and play around and I'll show you what this thing can do. So all the way over to here at the very front, this is what we get. So we've got ourselves an industrial cockpit to drive this thing around with four spotlights to light up the darkness. Surrounding all of this, we've got some lovely dark green steel blocks that make up the main body of this vehicle. All the way down past our cockpit, we can see our waist and suspensions, which is how all of our wheels are being connected up. Then if we were to move all the way around onto the side, we're not going to see too much because there's going to be a lot hidden in the way inside, and you might be able to see the bottoms of some large reactors, which is very much needed to power this thing. Just in between each of our wheels, we do have a piston system, where it will extend all the way out, and then drop all the way down to the ground, and lock those magnetic plates in place, so that when we take control over the big turret on top, the vehicle's not going to tip over. There's a better look like so, just a simple little piston system. Pulling away and moving along towards the very back here, this is what we get. So we can see our hinge of how we're going to move our turret up and down. And if we were to come all the way around over to here, we'll see our rotor, which is sitting right there, which is how we're going to spin it all around. Right next to the rotor is a programmable block, which is how we're going to reset the turret, so that when we move it all the way around, we can press one button and it will return back to how it is right now. Then if we were to come all the way up and above here, we'll see some great use of our armoured panels. We've got a projector block. And all the way along, past our large block railgun, we've got ourselves a steel block with a camera to help aim this thing. Yes, there's not too much going along, along the top there, it's just a bloody big gun. If we were to come all the way down and underneath this thing, all the way like so, we can see all of our pistons of how our stabilizers are going to deploy out and lock down to the ground. We see our waste sand suspensions, and then we can see all of our reactors going all the way along this vehicle to power it. And so there we go at the very back. And that is a very brief look around the outside of the railgun truck. It's a very simplistic yet very fun looking vehicle, and it's going to get even better once I grab hold of my character. So what we're going to do is come all around over here and get inside. We've got a few controls to go through, where number one and number two is going to be for our piston system on the side. Should bring the free camera all the way like so. We're now going to press number one, that's going to push them all the way out, then down to the ground, then our magnetic plates will lock us in place. And as you can see, we do get lifted slightly off the ground to ensure that we are completely stable. Number two is simply to retract this, where we'll press that. And then after a short delay, our magnetic plates will unlock, our pistons will retract, and we'll go back and be ready to move around. There we go. Number three is how we're going to take control over the railgun on top, but we'll come back to that a bit later. Along with number four, which is that camera you see on the side. Number seven and number eight is how we're going to lock our railgun turret in place. And then number 9 is how we're going to reset the turret so it's back like it is right now, so we're ready to lock it in place and then drive away. So what we're going to do is just come all the way around like so, in fact we'll just leave the camera how it is. We're going to press number 3, which is how we're going to take control over this turret. So now, I can move this thing around with my mouse, turn this all the way around, lift it up and down, and we can press number 4 for the camera to help precisely aim this thing. For us to unlock that and press number 9, there we go, it simply just return it back to its original position, it might wobble around a little bit, then we can lock it in place, and we're ready to drive around. Now we're ready to fire this thing, so it's time to activate those stabilizers on the side there. There we go, I can now get into this camera, and we can press number 3 to take control over the turret. We now move this all the way around, it's quite a slow turret to turn, but it should deal a nice lot of damage, and I've got some fancy little target dummies all the way over to here. So that's what we're going to go for, and we can see the projector block projecting a reticle, so we know exactly where we're going to shoot. So that is a very handy thing to have, especially on a railgun. So now we're going to fire it at his poor target dummy. 
and I've missed it completely, so I need to adjust my aim just a little bit. There we go, and that should be a direct hit. Once we're all fully charged and ready to go. And here we go one more time, I'm just going to aim slightly lower so we hit the base. And there we go with the railgun. And that was a nice shot, it feels very off with the aiming reticle, I think it's because it's so far away. But yes, you can see we were aiming over here, we hit that corner, but that is what it does. And here it is from a third person view, it looks absolutely ridiculous of how it's been deployed all the way out. But I love it all together. So unfortunately I couldn't get the turret to be AI controlled properly, there was simply too much momentum when trying to turn this turret around to the point that it was missing the target that I set up. As you can see the distance there, that is the Dex Fighter, and it really, really struggled. But there is another one over there which I'm pretty sure is targeting me, so after 20 seconds it might try and hit me, so we're going to have to do a bit of counterplay. Come all the way down like so, take control over this, it's time to aim all the way around, and hopefully we can shoot that before it shoots me. <laughs> yes it is, it's looking right at me, look at that, and you can see the momentum, here comes the shot, and that was a terrible miss. So here we go, we're now going to do a lock onto that. And uh, this will be it for the poor little railgun truck. And now some nice damage. That is now bouncing away into the distance. There it goes. And the turret has been destroyed. Let's take a better look at the damage we just caused. All the way over to here. And wow, that is hightailing it out of there. That's, that's given it quite a lot of momentum. That's not going to stop anytime soon. But yes, that is that for the railgun truck. It's a very short, very simple little vehicle to have a lot of fun with. And as per usual, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do, because it is a lot of fun. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.